What's up, everybody? Who that? I'm gonna do a video on the Atlantis review. What I was able to accomplish uh, this Atlantis in January. Um, I got, of course, the most important thing about Atlantis is the heroes. So I was able to get him. And I actually got them fairly quick. Normally, I have to pull and pull and pull to get the banner heroes. But this Atlantis, I really didn't have to pull uh, like I normally do to get them. But anyway, I got him. And then I got... Where's she at? Zeline. If I can find her. Put these things and elements away and I have to scroll all the way through these things got her so I was glad about that I got her really fast I think I got her on the first 30 pull so I was really glad I got her the bad news is though I need another Kingston um, for for strictly war sake i got a kingston and go with my Al albridge and now i need a kingston to go with my mother north so i had to i had to pick another kingston over over Z zayling right there i mean you can see right there i got kingston that's who i'm gonna level up next and then i guess after i get him leveled up i'll put zayling in there and start leveling her up but kingston to me He's probably one of the heroes that I will have I'll probably level three of him up just for the simple fact uh, I mean he hits super hard the attack down and the attack keeps getting down every time they hit and then the mana gen and green heroes they're slow normally uh, a lot of the good ones are slow so when you pair Kingston with another green hero like I got Lady of the Lake too um, not not this time. I'm just saying I got her. So when I level her up and I put a Kingston with her, it helps her, you know, kind of bumps her up to maybe average. So that's my thought process behind that. So I'm probably going to do three Kingstons. And this is strictly for war, of course. I mean, you don't need three Kingstons for um, raiding. But anyway, so that was the heroes that I got. And then also... Let's look at the Landis. I started on, I think it was 16.3. That's where I was at. I had 50 flask. I used 50 flask up and got to the last level. And I beat the last level. I did a video on the last level on normal. Uh, and I didn't know this, but I guess you can just jump into the hard. And you don't have to go through every stage. So I probably will be doing that soon on hard if i can i might do it and fail and then realize i can't do it till i level everything up but uh something i want to say about this real quick is i was in alliance not too long ago and there was a couple people in there and they were talking about how hard atlantis was and they were they were doing stages and losing because their heroes wasn't strong enough but if you don't have strong enough heroes to do atlantis to keep pushing it's retarded to uh try to do it and be losing and losing flags and stuff no point in keep pushing if your heroes are not strong enough so i just i got the 15 9 that's my favorite stage to hit and i normally hit 15 9 and 1 9 over and over but like i said this land is i was pushing so i didn't hardly hit them a lot but uh just you just need to wait till you get stronger heroes once your heroes are strong then that's what i did i just stayed on 15 9 i've got a good group core base of uh five stars at 370 so then i just pushed i did i did all of this in uh this atlantis got all all through all these stages it was time consuming but i didn't lose one time uh other, i mean other than just the time that it took me i didn't lose one time so my advice is just wait till you get stronger heroes and then when you get strong enough heroes then push in atlantis it's always going to be here as long as the game's here so no point in trying to fight it and can't beat the stages you don't want to lose flags so just keep that in mind um and then on my training counts i was able to 
get accomplished what I want on my training camps. You can see right here, I've got training camp two going. I got uh, 2,388 cooking in there right now. Uh, I was pushing, I was trying to aim for at least 30 days. I got 49 days on there. So the reason why I was aiming for 30 days, at least 30 days, because that's when the next Lantis comes. So I can, I don't have to put nothing in it, which I do. I put all my, my recruits in there when I get some. But if I didn't want to, I didn't have to touch, I won't have to touch that training camp until next Atlantis. And then my next Atlantis, I can just do 1 9, do 15 9, and get my backpacks on 1 9, and get my recruits on 15 9, and just build it up. So I got all my training camps built up pretty good. Well, all the other three, they were already pretty much at that level. But uh, I think I did a video pre Atlantis. And I think this training camp was on seven days or five days. So that's how far I, I got in, you know, that's how many backpacks and troops, I, I mean, rec recruits I built up. Um, I pushed pretty hard. I think I used probably about 50. I don't know the total. I think I went in with about 35 and then I bought five and got some more from chess and stuff like that. But that's... uh. That's how I got all that built up to that level. And I also, I'm going on stage four, level four, with my iron storage. But I think I was only going to stage three. Uh, I did that today. So I got to stage three. I'm pushing to try to get my stronghold to 22, and actually 23 if I can. And so that's what my focus is on, is just trying to get my stronghold up as high as possible because when they release the next town hall, I don't want to be far back. So once I get my stronghold up as far as I can, then I'm going to drop back and start doing all these other things. Another thing I was able to accomplish was I was able to get my uh, my hunter's lodge done, which I don't, I'm not able to craft them because I don't have enough uh, food storage yet. So that's in the works as well. I've got one up to 20 and I'm leveling, you know, that's one builder's on that and one builder is on my iron storage, advanced iron storage to get that up. So I was able to get all that done. So overall, I did a pretty good Atlantis and got it accomplished, you know, what I wanted to get accomplished. The main thing was to defeat it. So now, since I've beat the Atlantis stages, uh, from now on, I'm probably just going to just constantly, you know, hit 15-9 and 1-9 just over and over and over till I can get uh, my training camps built up really good because the name of the game is Heroes. Like right now, I, I pretty much had to stop using Heroes because I only got seven in this one. I had like 200 and I think I had like 200 or 250 or something like that in the training camp two days ago. And you can fly through recruits really quick. So I only got two in there. It just takes time to build these things up. So my goal is just to have a stockpile. I just want all four of them training camps to be, you know, 300 plus days. And that way I don't even really have to worry about recruits if I didn't want to. But I just wanted to hop on here, do a review of what I accomplished in Atlantis. And on top of that, you know, they not having the tournament going on, so I really don't have a ton I can put out a video on, so I figured I'd just, you know, record what I was able to get accomplished during Atlantis. And I'll probably just start doing that every Atlantis just to, you know, see what heroes I get, see how I did on my training camps and stuff like that. So if you don't mind, just subscribe, and um, I'll try to keep putting out content that you enjoy watching. Thanks.